So the overall aim of the genomic study was initially looking at patients who had a certain range of infections, but since COVID-19 has come to the fore, all COVID-19 patients are eligible. Uh, so what we do is we take the blood samples, they're sent by Royal Mail to the University of Edinburgh, and they look for genetic markers in the blood. A lot of the challenge centres around the fact that the, the clinical nursing staff who are looking after the patient are I've got a lot of work to do. The patients can be very, very sick. So you really need to take research, recruitment out of the bed space and get a separate team to do that. I think the challenges with COVID-19 studies are several. The main one from my point of view is unfortunately not being able to access the patient directly. I'm lucky that I have Emmanuel Sestier, who's a research nurse, but currently he's allocated to ITU and he will go onto the unit with all of his COVID-19 protective equipment. He'll take the various blood samples, any of the swabs. If the patient is able to give consent, he will get consent from them. We work ways around it. We've had other research nurses who are getting retrospective consent and we were collecting data or inputting data into the database. So flexibility is the key to effective recruitment to these COVID-19 students. You need to get a research ethos within clinical care and any clinical department. And to do that, you have to just emphasize the importance of research in making patients better and giving them a better outcome. Uh, especially when COVID-19 comes along, it's even more important because this disease process for the various research studies that we're doing has the ability to improve clinical outcome for patients during the pandemic, so the research that we're doing will hopefully be discovering new treatments as the pandemic progresses and those treatments will make a difference for patients. We have a huge workforce of really experienced research nurses but in very different clinical areas. So one thing that I worked with Keith and the COVID team for critical care was certainly orientation to critical care. I think there are several reasons why we're so successful. I think the main reason is I'm embedded on ITU, so I know all the medical and nursing staff, uh, pharmacists, uh, dietitians, physiotherapists. We have a series of notice boards where the staff can see which studies that we are recruiting to. They've got my contact details, should they suspect there's a COVID patient eligible for one of our studies. Uh, we've also got uh, a website in critical care and a website in research and development where they have information about all of the current studies, who's involved with them and how to contact people to uh, identify eligible patients for the studies. One of the important aspects of genomic is the fact that you can actually co-enroll genomic with every other critical care COVID-19 study because it's just about the outcome from critical care admission and because it's not an interventional study, then it can be co-enrolled, and I think it must be co-enrolled, so every single patient who comes in for any other study, an interventional study, can also go straight into genomic. Regular contact with the CRN to then understand which studies we can recruit you in which hospitals, the infrastructure that needs to go in across the whole region then, I think was crucial to get all of those studies in. So regular communication with the RDM for critical care uh, through the CR, uh, LCRN uh, was crucial. Regular contact with other PIs and other sites to explain what this study would actually entail and the potential benefits of this study was crucial to them getting research into the units. The three most important factors to effective recruitment to any COVID-19 study is early screening, effective teamwork with clinicians, nurses, other medical staff, patients and their relatives and effective communication between all of the various individuals involved. Processes are put in place, mainly tweaking along the way so it works smoothly and I think we've got a really effective team at the moment to support critical care and to offer every patient an opportunity to be involved in research.